In this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to use masks in Flash. Okay, so to demonstrate, I've got the stock photo of some leaves, which I'm just going to drag onto the stage. So here's a pretty cool tip. If you ever want an object exactly in the center of the stage, all you have to do is go to Window, Align, make sure this box is ticked, and just click these two buttons, and it will always go right in the center of the screen. All right, so next, I'm going to rename this layer to Example Image. And now I'm going to make my mask layer, which I'm going to make directly on top of this layer. I'll just give that a name. And now to make my mask shape. So I'm going to make quite a large circle shape for this. And I'm just going to place it around here. Okay, now to make the actual mask effect. And it's very easy to do. All you have to do is right click on your mask layer and click mask. And there we go. The mask effect is looking great. Okay, so I should mention that with mask layers in Flash, if they are unlocked like this, it's just going to look as if the effect hasn't taken place yet. But if you lock them, it will preview the effect. So it's just something to note in case you get confused about it. Okay, so next I'm going to do something a bit more interesting by animating the mask shape. So I'm going to make some frames. I'll make about 40. So for my mask shape, I'm going to quickly make it into a symbol. And I'm going to do a very simple motion tween. So I'll have it start off on this side. I'll make the motion tween. And I'm going to have it end up just on the other side. So I'm going to lock both my layers to preview the effect. Let's check it out. All right, that's looking pretty cool. OK, next I'm going to do a slightly different effect. I'm going to have the same mask shape. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to have it start off very small and then I'm going to have it get very big and encompass the entire stage. So I'll have it start off about this size, and then I'm just going to drag this to make the new tween. And then for the end point, it's going to encompass the entire stage area, just like this. And for this, I'm going to do a publish preview to preview it. Let's check it out. All right, that's looking pretty awesome. OK, now don't forget, with any motion tween, you can just go and reverse the keyframes and check out what it looks like in reverse. Let's check it out. All right, it's looking really cool. OK, so lastly, I want to try quite an ambitious effect. And I want to create a sort of ripple effect on my example image. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to double click my mask shape to go inside the movie clip symbol. And I'm going to use this tool, which is known as the ink bottle tool. And this is a really cool tool because it allows you to add outlines to objects. So there we go, I've got a green outline there. So I'm just going to delete the inside bit. And I'm just going to change this outline so it stands out against the background. I'll make it dark blue. So what I want to do is I want to basically create a pattern which is a series of concentric circles. So I'm going to copy this first circle, paste it in, and then I'm going to use free transform to just scale it down so it fits inside the original circle. That'll do fine. And then I'm going to copy these two. I'm going to do the same thing. So I'll paste it and then scale it down. I'll make it slightly smaller. And then I just want one circle inside this bit. And I'll scale it down a little bit. All right, cool. So I'm now going to fill it in. So I'm going to go back to the paint bucket tool, and I'll fill it in. I'll just do um, a yellow color. All right, so I'm going to fill in that bit, and then the middle bit's just going to be filled in like this. So I'm just going to delete the lines. All right, brilliant. I'm going to go back onto the main timeline. And I'm just going to make some small adjustments. So I'm going to reverse the keyframes back so it starts off small. Uh, I'm going to make it start off slightly bigger than that. And then on the end, what I want to do is I want to make sure that it ends with this uh, central circle covering the entire stage. So I'm just going to make that even bigger. There we go. So I'm going to do a publish preview and check it out. All right, so what's happening is Flash is not recognizing the transparent area in my concentric circle pattern. So all I need to do is make a gap. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to double click on my movie clip and go inside it. I'm just going to select this part of it and just make a very small gap and just press delete. So I'm going to publish that again and check it out. 
All right, so now we've got this awesome ripple effect here. All right, cool. So as you've seen in this tutorial, masks are really important and they're really fun to work with. So I definitely recommend you go out there and make some really interesting mask shapes. So I will see you in the next tutorial. Bye.